United States companies and lobbying groups, including the Chamber of Commerce, the United States China Business Council, and the National Retail Federation, have been campaigning for months against tougher economic measures on China. Many are now turning to progressives in order to protect their business interests in the communist regime. According to Politico, in recent months, the United States China Business Council, which represents more than 250 U.S. companies that do business in China, has reached out to aides to independent Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders and groups like Justice as Global. A number of progressive groups have been urging Congress to focus on cooperating with Beijing on issues like climate change. The United States can still hold Beijing accountable for human rights and economic abuses, some progressives argue, without placing economic restrictions on Chinese companies or eschewing cooperation with China. According to Politico, Vice President of United States China Business Anna Ashton said, "We've tried to message that national security obviously has to be tended to and prioritized. That may change some of the parameters of commercial engagement with China." But at the end of the day, our economy has benefited enormously by being able to trade with China. Tensions between the United States and China have been increasing in recent years, and both Congress and the White House have taken steps to confront China across multiple fronts, particularly on human rights and trade. Lobbying groups representing hundreds of the largest United States companies have campaigned against legislation in Congress that would counter China's human rights and trade abuses. Companies lobbied against a bill that would mandate government reviews for United States investment in China, and another bill that would ban products made in the Xinjiang region using forced labor. According to Politico, some business groups are reportedly worried their traditional allies in Congress may no longer share their interests when it comes to China. Both Republicans and Democrats have been supportive of efforts to ramp up pressure on China's government and Chinese companies. One lobbyist who asked not to be named due to ongoing work with Congress said, "It feels like the business community doesn't have any true blue friends on the Hill at this point when it comes to China. Everything is a matter of degree." Politico reported, groups like the Chamber of Commerce and the United States China Business Council are now trying to make common cause with progressives, but it's unclear to what extent progressives will work with companies and corporate lobbyists on the issue.